interviews. Natalie interviews. Natalie interviews. Natalie interviews. Natalie interviews. It's Natalie here with NatalieInterviews.com, and I am at Club Nokia with Honor Society at their show. How are you guys? Doing well. Doing good. Awesome. So could you guys please introduce yourselves and let our viewers know what instruments you play? Sure. I'm Alexander. I play the drums. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Michael. I sing and play guitar. I'm Andrew, and I play bass, and I sing backup vocals. What's up? I'm Jason. I play keyboards, guitar, and backup vocals. So you guys have been on the Here Comes Trouble tour. So what's been the craziest city so far? Wow, <laughs> I think from the start it's been a crazy tour in general. Um, we started the tour in Florida, we had three shows in Florida, all were hot. New Orleans is hot, Texas is hot, Phoenix, San Francisco, oh, it's been crazy. Hot, super hot. Yeah, it's just getting hotter. I think it's really hard to choose because like, the yeah. fans are just incredible. I mean, if we're talking temperature, I would say... Phoenix. Phoenix, Phoenix. Yeah. Yeah. temperature wise. Phoenix was really hot. Martini Ranch? Yeah. 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 Nice. So, what's your, been, like, your favorite tour memory? I think um, the first time we heard, we, we have some intro music that goes with the show, mm -hmm. and it's really epic. It's like this huge orchestral thing, and it's just, uh, the first time we heard it, we were all just backstage, and we were just like, wow. Yeah. That's wow. really, I'm, I'm scared. my heart is racing <laughs> I, right now. I can't help but just go like this. Yeah. Yeah. It's so, like grandiose and huge. So, um, yeah, you'll hear it tonight, so. I'm excited. <laughs> How do you guys get pumped before a show? Do you guys do like jumping jacks, push-ups? Um, yeah. yeah, I think I, I do jump rope. I jump rope before each show just to try and get like warm and loose. But um, I think it's pretty mellow backstage. You know, we sort of try to focus and, um, and we pray. And then we, you know, right before we go on stage, we get a little amped. But, you know, it's pretty mellow backstage. So what's each of your favorite songs to perform? Um, I think recently my favorite song has been uh, Here Comes Trouble, for sure. Yeah. I'd have to say right now, Full Moon Crazy. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Here Comes Trouble. I'm gonna go with Camp Box Man. Oh, oh so, yeah. Right there. All right. Well, so since there are four of you guys on a bus, do you guys like ever disagree on things? Not fights, but just like little disagreements. There, there's one, I mean, it's not even a disagreement, <laughs> but there's like a phantom person, and, and everyone thinks it's me, but I'm here to say <laughs> it's not. A phantom person who takes like one sip out of a water bottle and then like puts it down and then like <laughs> opens up another one and like puts it down and you know all these like sort of you know half empty water bottles I guess. Yeah, we don't know who does it. So it's probably none of you guys no, though. Yeah, it's, it's probably like yeah, it's probably one of the crew or something like that. <laughs> so you guys have been on like a lot of tours together, recorded together. Can you guys describe describe the person next to you using one word? All right. All right. Mike is strong. <laughs> Emotionally, and, Emotionally. Phys and physically <laughs> and mentally. Yeah, thank you. Um, Andy is smart. Thank you. Or I'd say knowledgeable, which right. is, I think that's a little more. I appreciate that. Both, but. I appreciate your sensitivity as to the differences between <laughs> yeah, the two. Yeah, yeah, All right. yeah, yeah. Um, Jason <laughs> is um, extremely musical. Whoa. That's two words, but it's well. like, I, I called you smart, dude. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> so just musical or extremely. Or yeah, extremely. Extreme. He's just extreme. extreme. He's totally um, extreme. Alex? I'd say Alex is bashful. Oh, Ooh, bashful. bashful. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys have opened for many artists like Timbaland and the Jonas Brothers. What's it like to be headlining your own tour? I mean, it's a thrill. We actually, you know, this is our third headlining tour. We've had the opportunity a couple times before. Um, this tour is, you know, particularly special to us because we really got to spend a lot of time in LA before the tour, really making the show special and exciting and interesting musically. Um, and so it's it's a real blast. Like I think from from the top, from the first moment, from the intro music that Mike was talking about to the last note, everybody's gonna have a really really great time for sure. Very cool. So last night we went to Blockbuster and we rented Alvin and the Chipmunks yes. and to our surprise we saw Honor Society rocking out in the first scene. Yes, <laughs> what was it like going from musicians to actors? It was uh, it actually it, it was a pretty easy transition <laughs> only because we're playing ourselves yeah. in yeah. the movie and we're playing music on stage. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
but it was it was an incredible experience. We had to meet some incredible people and uh, and just being on a movie set and just seeing how it works. It was it was pretty amazing. And the pyrotechnics at the very yeah. end of the scene when I nearly get exploded from the side of the stage. It was it was definitely something we'll never forget. Yeah. For a first movie, it was a really big production and just the CGI and the yeah. the chipmunks and like the pyrotechnics, like Andy was saying. So it was it wasn't just like camera actors kind of thing. So yeah. it was a lot of fun. Very cool. So you guys have accomplished a lot over the past year. Is there one moment where you look back and just think, wow, I can't believe we got to do that or this happened? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> life moves really fast. I think at the end of tour, you sort of get that sentimental vibe and you and you reflect on what you've accomplished in, in that you know past couple months or whatever it was. And yeah, definitely. You, you get that every once in a while, like maybe at dinner one night for whatever reason, that vibe's in the air and you think back to like on all the things you've there done. Was, but um, start there, weeping. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there was one cool moment. We got to um, ring the opening bell at the New York Stock Exchange. Yeah. Um, so us ringing that bell s sent billions of dollars into <laughs> motion. motion. Yeah, so it was pretty, that was like, wow, that's like a real honor to be able to, to do that. So are you guys working on music at the current moment? Maybe you're going to release a sophomore record? Always, yeah. I mean, definitely want to you know, release a second album. And um, we've written a ton of music on the last tour, on the tour bus, and just all the time, always writing. There's always another album in the works, as long as you are writing, you know? So one more question before you go. Any social networks where your fans could reach you, talk to you? Twitter. Um, yeah, Twitter is a big one. Twitter.com slash Honor Society. Facebook.com slash Honor Society. Pretty much anything.com slash Honor Society. <laughs> So cool. check it out. Thank you guys so much for talking with us. Definitely. Be sure to check out Honor Society on their Here Comes Trouble mm -hmm. tour. They might be coming to a town near you. And I'm Natalie with NatalieInterviews.com, and I'll see you guys next time.